How's it going, guys? My name is Zach with The Movie Castle, and today we're going to be talking about The Closet, issue number two. This is written by James Tenyon IV with art by Gavin Fullerton. In this issue, the family is driving in the car, going across country for their big move. However, not the whole family. It's just the dad and the son, the mom went by herself earlier, and the kid still has the fear that the thing from the closet is going to be following them, and this is a horror book, so yeah, probably. Um, they stop for the night at the house of this friend the dad hasn't seen in a long time, and when the kid goes to bed, the two have a serious heart-to-heart -heart conversation, and it really digs and stings, you know, uh, but we're going to find out a bit about the characters. And I guess that's the the best improvement. I think this issue is a little bit of a step up from the first one. And in the first one, a ton of the husband and wife fighting. Here we get to see more as to what exactly happened, how their relationship got to such a bad place. And really, you know, it analyzes it and cuts it open a lot better. And it is, you know, something that I can see being realistic and I could totally see someone ruining their life that way. It's an interesting character study and it's, yeah, it's uh, really sad. But that's also the thing too, is it's really sad. Uh, this issue, uh, a little uh, depressing really, uh, hearing this guy talk about his failed life and I'm like, gee, I kind of just want to see the the kid with the the weird crazy monster in the closet and that is another thing too is the story of the dad and his failed life really does seem kind of separated from this kid with the monster in his closet I mean the dad is talking to and dealing with the kid but the monster in the closet storyline seems so separate from what the kids dealing with and I'm guessing they'll tie them together in the third issue but it's sort of like the cool monster in the closet thing is what I would wish we focus on, you know. And the other stuff is written well. It's just really, really sad. And I'm like, the book's called The Closet? Can we get more monsters? Um, another thing with this, too, is uh, it, it goes fast like the last one did, but not as fast. Th that first issue read through really quick. And this one I read through pretty quick as well, but it didn't feel like that first one where it just kind of burned through it. So, a little bit better of a pacing here. Now, that being said, I heard somewhere on the internet that this is only going to be three issues long. Which, three issues with as fast as this series moves, I'm kind of like, you know, why? Uh, I wish... You know, if it's only three issues, and the issues read as fast as this issue does, I really do wish that they had released this all at once, you know? I miss the days when they could have released this as like an... You know how back in the day they used to do like 88-page giants and stuff? This, I think, could have been a better candidate for like those original hardcover graphic novels Image is trying to put out. And yeah, just the way it reads and how short it looks like it's going to be... I really do wish this all came out at once. Granted, it's the internet. Maybe that three-issue thing I heard was wrong. I don't know, but we'll we'll see what happens next time. Overall, a good character study, but kind of a depressing one. And I wish it focused on the cool, monstrous, strange closet thing. But I'm thinking this is all going to build to the third issue. I'm hoping we get a good, original, creative climax, and I'm hoping it pulls the two storylines together. Uh, but we'll just have to, to see about that. Anyway, without further ado, if you guys want to see a little bit more about this book, I'm going to switch to the close-up camera. I'll talk more about the story specifics, and I'll talk about, you know, I'll show you guys some of the art too. So if you want to dig in a little deeper, we're going to switch to the close-up camera. All right, here we are inside the castle, taking a closer look at the closet issue two. Bring it up to the camera, a little credit byline, and we see that Image is celebrating their 30-year anniversary. That's pretty cool. But we have this logo, and I do like, you know, the big sketch circle, and then this little uh, purple-colored 
farmhouse, well, house in the country, and above that, the closet door kind of raining over it, almost like an, an alien, uh, like, light beam or something. Now, one thing here, though, is it's missing the shapes, and the back is blank with the exception of the shapes, and I thought that the shapes were a really cool addition, made it iconic and distinctive, and, you know, we all know those little shapes that kids put on stuff. It's missing here for whatever reason. I guess they wanted to make it look like more just a striking column of light. I don't know, but I, I do miss them. And then, of course, if you guys want the full credits, they will be on the the inside cover here. Wish we could have got a previously on, but then again, not much happened in the last issue. Not too terribly hard to remember. And then after that, we get into the comic proper. I'm not going to be doing any major spoilers, so I'll avoid the, the crazy supernatural stuff at the end. Uh, but a lot of this is, you know, conversations and stuff, and, and I won't show you all of, the, all of them. Um, but anyway, talk a little bit about the story, show the art, no major spoilers. Uh, but we open up with them driving through the mountains, and we get painful and awkward quietness, and we get a vague reference to something. Um, hey, buddy, I'm sorry, we don't have to mention that to mom. And I'm trying to remember, I, I think this must have been something that happened between issues, because I think the last one ended with just the, uh, the monster coming out of the closet, right? Um... But they talk a bit about the mountains, and if Portland will have mountains. And then they get to where they're going. This house in the middle of nowhere that one of the dad's friends uh, lives at. But, you know, there is real, you know, human elements to this story. And the idea of being late to get to someone's house you haven't seen in a while. It's a, a place you're unfamiliar with. And, yeah, driving up to a house like this in the middle of the night... A real human uh, element to the story but then after that you know the good introduction but uh, we get to see the dad uh, the dad mess up in a few ways because this dad you know keeps messing up all the time he looks in the trunk and found that the uh, the movers got the boys suitcase so he doesn't have his pajamas and he doesn't have his toothbrush and then also uh, they stop by McDonald's, and the friend had dinner waiting for them, and he's like, oh, I'm so sorry, you know, so just little ways that this dad's messing up, you know, again and again, but he's like, you want to skip brushing your teeth tonight? Oh, yeah, and there's even one scene uh, back here. Uh, you remember your, my, your dad's friend Mac, don't you? And the kid's like, no, no, I don't remember him. And he's all worried about how that makes his friend feel. And really, though, man, I remember when I was a kid, my parents would have all these people, you know so-and-so, right? And I'm like, no, I have no idea who they are. You know, your parents, friends, and keeping up with them. Uh, but they go into the living room, and he's bought some uh, some Legos. And they're going to use the Legos to entertain the kid while the adults uh, talk for a bit. And... One of the guys talks about uh, how he still likes to, you know, get high and watch cartoons and play Legos and just kind of live his life. And the uh, the main guy is going to say, man, I wish my life was still that way. But, you know, my wife's not that cool, won't let me do that. And I have to raise the kid. And he's like, well, that's, you know, kind of your responsibility now. So he puts the kid to bed. And the kid's like, you are supposed to stay with me, right? And he's like, nah, I'll, I'll go out, I'll talk to my friend, and then before you know it, I'll come back. And he's like, oh, you promise? Well, as soon as he flips out the light and leaves, the closet door will appear. And I don't want to show, because I don't want to spoil it, I don't want to show all the cool monster parts, but I do want to show uh, with this closet door, uh, it's, you know, it's magical, it's following them between locations, but it's actually on the ceiling this time, and you get this really fun panel where the monster kind of floats down from the ceiling towards this kid. Really cool, really creepy, and there's a bit of a, uh, a horror scene there, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but then a large chunk of this issue is going to be this 
fireside conversation the dad has with his friend and it's like oh your kid still believes in monsters he's a little old for that and then he says why isn't your wife with you oh well she didn't want to come uh, because she had to get down there early and I wanted to do the the big road trip thing and he's and his friends like is that really the only reason and they talk a bit about how he had an affair and the wife is wanting to make it work but maybe he wanted to break things off and he's not doing too great because of that but his friends really gonna lay into him and say hey you need to get your stuff straightened out you have a kid you need to be better and really lets this guy hear it and to be fair he probably does have it coming um but yeah a really a really very serious conversation these two have and you get to see you know why our main character was fighting so hard with his wife last time even though at times he denies this in the conversation he has with his friend but in the last one you, you know you gotta see him yelling here we find out more about why here we get to see that He's not happy with his life how it is now, how he misses his younger and wilder single days. And you do get to see why the character is like this and, you know, that's uh, how he needs to change. So, yeah, you do get real human elements. But like I said, it is kind of, you know, depressing seeing just how bad this guy's uh, got in his life to be at this point. But I am curious. I really am a, a big fan of of the supernatural monster stuff and I kind of wonder how the two are going to connect and if this is only a three issue series which if it is and I think it is I really wish image would have put two of three instead of just issue two I like to know when mini series are mini series you know but if we do only have one left I am curious how they're gonna connect and it's all really gonna hinge you know a lot of my opinion on the comic is where all this stuff does go you know the first issue set it up here we're expanding upon it I like the concept of the moving closet it's just where will this all go how's it gonna end what is the point of it all so really at this point the opinion of the book really does depend on how well they stick their landing and I am curious of it so there are stuff I like here but yeah it is just kind of depressing and I wish I wish this all came out at once but we'll uh, we'll see next time around I'll definitely pick it up because I am curious and I I do want to see what's up with that monster you know uh, but anyway a good enough book but yeah you know anyway uh, to everyone who's watched so far thank you for watching to everyone who's liked and subscribed thank you you really are helping the channel out I'll leave a relevant playlist on the bottom this should be my Image Comics playlist where you can find my review for The Closet Issue 1. You can also find my reviews for things like Gideon Falls or The Passageway, the new Bone Orchard Mythos thing that Image is doing, and even another original uh, graphic novel, Dracula Mother Effer. Uh, so I've done a, a few Image things and I'm going to be uh, working on reading more and covering more. Anyway, have a good day. I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Image Comics playlist on the bottom. Have a good day now.